Dirty my name may unearth me. I stir the land, I'm Cersei Lannister. Kiss my hands, sir. Hold the banister. It's weather out here. 68. 68 today. Decided to take a little stroll, a little a little drive. Today's what, Friday? So, a little thing to notice. So, earlier this week, I posted the cover art for my new song. Like, and I put a blur over the face. And I was like, do you want me to show you the face? And nobody bit on it. Nobody, like, even clicked on it at all. And then today, I put a bikini on. And I fucking made up some fucking bullshit. And guess what? It went viral. Ha! 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 So, using my cover art alone, I got 300 views. Now, using my body and a story, I got 10,000 views in an hour. Do you see the marketing? Do you see how marketing works? Do you see how marketing works? Ding! You see what I'm saying? That's how marketing works. Y'all not gonna lo look at just the cover art. But if the art is attached to a story and titties, y'all gonna share that shit. Ireland? What's up? Which part of Ireland? How you doing? Ireland. I was in Dublin last year. Uh, that's one of my favorite places to perform comedy, actually, is in Dublin. They have, like, look, Ireland has the worst people, but the best audience, okay? He's Irish, motherfucker. Every time I go to Ireland, I get in a fight with an Irish person. And let me tell you, Irish people are racist against white people. It's, like, so funny. It's, like, they hate each other. Like, the Northern Irish and the regular Irish fight, and they don't like each other. So it's, like, it's like top-tier racism. It's, like, white-on-white -white racism. It's, like, funny as fuck. They definitely hate me. And But the fucking audience loves me. Like, I, the, I, the crowds are so rowdy and, like, just fun in Ireland. Like... Good sports. Good crack, as you say. Oh, your name is Ireland? Or are you from Ireland? Shit. I love your shirt. Thank you. It's from it's from my university. That people think I never that people people think I'm lying about graduating from. <laughs> Baby, I'ma pay you. Then click the tip for a tip. Baby, I'ma lay you down. Flip it, pop a split. Can you give me that sound? Is you bout it? Is you with the shits? Baby, give me that mouth. I think that we should switch spits. That's why I flip the flow. Drips to me. Black coffee percolates my bean. Black coffee percolates my bean. You see, I keep going back and forth with that little cadence right there. I don't know what sound that are. Black coffee percolates my bean. Or black coffee percolates my bean. Fakes get off me. See, that's the only reason why it sounds better the second way. Because when the next bar come in, fakes get off me. Black coffee, fakes get off me. Black coffee, fakes get off me. That's what I would have to have done. You see what I'm saying? It don't sound, fakes get off me don't sound as good as fakes get off me. Black coffee, fakes get off me. I'm just a rhymer. I just like rhyming stuff. I like, I like words and putting them together. Throw dirt on my name, they unearth me. I stir the land, I'm Cersei Lannister. Oh, that's a hard bar. That is like the hardest fucking bar of the year for me. Throw And you know, it was funny because they was talking shit about me last week. So it's like the perfect timing. Throw dirt on my name, they unearth me. I stir the land, I'm Cersei Lannister. Kiss my hand, sir. Hold the banister while you uh, me. Oh, did we 
get a little shade? Did I get a little shady spot? Did I? I think I did. Show did, bitch. Show did. I show did. What do I do for a living? I'm an artist. I'm an artist. You feel me? I'm a comedian. I'm a songbird. I'm a scholar. I'm an artiste. But mostly, I just get naked on OnlyFans. You know, that's the easiest way to do all of it, really, if I'm honest. I just get naked on OnlyFans. So today they try to tell me that my cover art was blackface. And it's weird because it's like, you're going to tell me it's blackface and then be, tell me to go look up the definition and then come back on my post with the definition. And you like, like, if you reading the definition and thinking that my cover art is the same thing, then you are really like retarded, bro, because... The only reason why I had to black out the person's image was because they wouldn't let me use the picture. So I had to do a silhouette. The song is called Mouth. So yeah, there's going to be a mouth like on the fucking cover art. Blackface is when white people would use paint. Paint their own faces black. And make a caricature of a black person. Blackface is not a silhouette. Of an actual black person with a mouth of a sticker mouth on top with like a tongue. And when was a black, when was black, when was anyone presented, uh, portrayed as a king when it was like doing blackface to people? Was there anybody presented as a king wearing blackface? Like, next thing you know, they're gonna say, oh, you put a chain around his neck and it's a black guy, but it's like, you know, a blinged out chain. Like, they'll be like, like, people just want to say anything. You can't you can't please everybody. My art is going to be provocative. I mean, y'all, my last cover art was me eating brains. Y'all ain't said nothing about that. The Eating the brains was okay. All right. Well, at least I know where the fucking lever, where the uh, line is, you know? It's kind of good to weeds people out. All the people that does think that's blackface... Y'all are retarded, so I don't want y'all following me anyway. Because, you know, this is a retard-free zone over here. Colorado, you smoking that good good over there or what? Hit him with that good good, make him want to act right. Broke boys don't deserve no pussy. I know that's right. Big bands busting out the Bentley band. Take a man. Birkin bag party backing all you bitches back. Big bags busting out the Bentley. Wait, I need to listen to Future and Metro Boomin's new album. I have not done that yet. I just feel like when people drop an album, like unless it's Kanye, I can't, I'm not like running to like listen to a whole album, you know? But for Kanye, I am. Because Kanye's on the top end of marketing. Like he gets the marketing. Like if you notice, he ain't done no marketing, but have his old lady with her butt out walking around town with him. And that's enough to sell the clothes and the album, bitch. Just put the old lady's cheeks out. You ain't got to spend one dollar. The press is going to take them pictures, circulate them pictures, and do its job. And he's using that media coverage to pump sales right into Yeezy. And just, you know, become richer. It's the marketing, bro. It's the marketing. There's no way people pay to see your OnlyFans. Okay. Okay. Believe it or not. If you've got titties and a pussy. I mean, I don't even show pussy. I don't even barely show titties. Sometimes I do. Because it's like fucking titties. Like what? So ridiculous. But all my art is provocative, you know? Like, I had the Naked Suicide series in 2020 where I dressed up like all those celebrities and took naked pictures of them dead. People didn't understand that. Definitely thought I was crazy. All my art is provocative. 
I, I towed a line. I pushed the envelope. I create new, new things. I don't copy off people. I'm a real creative. Y'all gonna motherfucking talk. Y'all gonna motherfucking talk about me. Y'all gonna talk about it. Whatever I make, y'all gonna talk about it. And that's how it is. And that's who wins. The people who can keep people talking the most are the ones who win. You gotta keep them talking. Listen to Gary V. I study Gary V and what he says. The current, the current currency is attention. Attention is the currency. So whoever can garner the most attention wins. The end. No such thing as bad attention. All attention is just free promo. Have I ever been to Colorado? Yes, I have some friends that live in Denver. Long time ago though. Oh. Throw dirt on my name, they unearth me. I stir the land, I'm Cersei. Lannister, kiss my hand, sir. Now. Can you give me that mouth? I think that we should switch bit. That's why I flipped the flow. Drips too mean. Yeah, well, I have to release my song next week now because of the cover art ordeal. But it's okay. I got buku ass projects coming up. Top secret. Top secret ones. Top secret ones, baby. Change game changing plays. Game changing plays are about to come. You want to know how to not get rich? Listen to all your broke friends. Listen to all your broke friends and keep doing what they're doing. That's how to not get rich. Take advice from your broke friends that have day jobs. That's how you not. That's how you get rich. They know what's going on. They obviously got to figure it out. They got to ask somebody when they can take a shit. They got to figure it out. You should listen to them. Whatever you do, never take advice from me, you know? It's not like I built a million dollar marketing machine in a year or anything out of thin air. It's not like I cracked four platforms in a matter of six months with millions of views or anything. So you should definitely not ever listen to me or anything I have to say, because I'm not qualified at all. I'm just a crackhead Uber driver. What do I know? You know, I'm just a crackhead Uber driver, only fans whore. You know what I'm saying? I don't know shit about nothing. I don't know shit about nothing, but I know I don't got a clock in. I don't know shit about nothing, but I know I don't got a clock in. I don't know shit about nothing, but I know I don't got a clock in. Oh, don't come next to me, motherfucker. I hate when a motherfucker does this to me every time. Do this to me every time, too. Every time. Hundreds of thousands of parking spots. You're gonna park right next to me. You're gonna park right the fuck next. Just like y'all seen yesterday when a lady was on the bench and I went and moved. And then she went and moved and came and sat in front of my car on the cement. Directly in front of my car on the cement. That's the weirdos just come. They just, I, it's like I have a magnet. They just come and, and bother me all day long. I had a money magnet. I wish money would find me that quickly, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Did y'all watch that Nickelodeon documentary, Quiet on Set? There's vodka in the tea. 
Can you show us the seagulls? I don't know where they are. If I throw a piece of food out, they'll come and eat it. Let me see. Let me see what. All right, let's see if they come and eat it. All right, I threw it. Usually they'll come. They're not coming. They'll come on. See me, they ran away. Them motherfuckers will come. I don't know if they like cashews though. I think they like french fries or some shit. What's up, music channel? I just want to see you freestyle. Y'all ain't making no motherfucking hits. Y'all bars corny like sugar in grits. Don't tell me what I should have did if you ain't never done this. I need clams in my hands by the hundreds. I want crabs in my belly dungeonness. Zeros in the bank, yams full of funnions. Shout out Lil Wayne for that inspiration. I give credit while you biters try and take it. I got all my merits and I got an education. I am not impressed with your lack of innovation. That's why I flip the flow. Drips to me. Black coffee percolates my bean. Fakes get off me. I'm too clean. Do them dirty. Fentanyl OD. Kill all unworthy. I got the real perk 30. I know you heard me. <clears throat> Throw dirt on my name. They unearth me. I stir the land. I'm Cersei Lannister. I make some stacks off my racks and I make some racks. I make some stacks off my racks in my room. Yo, man, back on my page and he hitting that zoom. Pies to the moon. Bands of red money need five like maroon. That was a pretty good bar too. Bands of red money need five like maroon. Oh, what a bar. You'd have to know that red money is Chinese money. And then you'd have to know that the bar before that was pies to the moon was a play on moon pies because moon cakes are Chinese. And it was like pies to the moon, bands of red money need five like maroon. And then maroon five is a band and then bands is money and band. You see what I'm saying? Them is bars. Bars. Bands of red money need five like maroon. Bands of red money need five like maroon. As I hit them with the uh, uh like scarlet. Oh, hair trigger, they call me scarlet. Harlot, caught these flies in my web like Charlotte. Starlet, shine bright starlet. Bitch, I started. Ain't no Uber driver, I'm an artist. I'm the hardest. I bend over, you see my arches. You can park this, double tap on IG. Heart this. I'm departed to the Arctic. Beat my Valentine. I'm heartsick. Cathartic. Three thick thoughts in a row. That's a thought trick. Marilyn Monroe. I'm a hot chick. If you want beef, you can eat hibachi. Catch my live stream. I know you want to watch me. Lick my taco and sing mariachi, bitch. I mean, people just don't, they just never seen nobody, like, just with raw talent with a brain like mine before. So they accused me of being on drugs. I mean, you know. But whatever. I'm used to it. It's part of the plot. It's part of the play. It's part of the plan. Like, people, if people don't think you're crazy, then you're doing something wrong. Because what you're doing, just by its very definition, goes against 
the standards of what everybody is taught in society. So that makes you crazy off top because you believe you're different. You believe you don't have to fit in with the crowd. You believe you could chase your dreams and be anything you want. So, of course, to the fucking person working behind the desk doing what the rest of society does, y'all going to think I'm crazy. But I'm the one on a Friday morning chilling at the lake rapping to y'all. When y'all are the ones at y'all's jobs watching me. So it's like, what the fuck? Guess I'm crazy. I guess I'm crazy. I guess I'm crazy now. You don't even claim her. She wants you because you famous. I took that part out. I didn't like that melody. If you ask me, I can come up with a much better arrangement. Cause I just do it for the mouth. Baby, I'ma pay you. Then lick the tip for a tail. Baby, I'ma lay you down. Flip it, pop a split. Can you give me that sound? Cause you bout it. Is you with the shits? Baby, give me that mouth. I think that we should switch spits. That's why I flip the flow. Drips too mean. Black coffee percolates my bean. Takes it off me. I'm too clean. I do them dirty. Do them dirty. Fentanyl OD. Kill all unworthy. I got the real perk 30. Throw dirt on my name, they unearth me. I love that part. Throw dirt on my name, they unearth me. I stir the land, I'm Cersei Lannister. Kiss my hand, sir. Hold the banister while you unearth me. I'm a speller and a seller, a vanilla marshmallow. Tell them I don't need a fella. I got my own umbrella. Ella, Ella, never listen to the bullshit like I'm Helen Keller. Wetter than a drenched sweater. Clever and a trend setter. Go get a fed up like I'm Oyster Rockefeller with the cheddar. Bitch, you better been better. Recognize your error or get ready for the terror. Get ready for the terror, bitch. Get ready for the terror. Get ready for the terror. Get ready, get ready, get ready for the terror. Air on I'm high. When I rap, I get high. Black coffee percolates my bean. Fakes get off me. I'm too clean. I do them dirty. I fentanyl OD. Kill all unworthy. I got the real perk 30. Throw dirt on. Oh, stop that. Throw dirt on my name. They unearth me. I stir the land. I'm Cersei. I'm Cersei Lannister. Land I stir. Who? Oh, that's just fire. That's bars. Them is bars. Those are like the most barry of bars that I could bar this year so far. Like I had a couple of good bars. Three, three thick thoughts in a row. That's a thought trick. That's a good. That's a funny, cute little bar. The fucking bands of red money need five like maroon. That's a fucking. That's a bar. It's a whole bar. Everything's a bar there. Bars don't just rhyme. You know, bars like have double multiple meanings and they rhyme and it's like they're like it's like you have to really unpack what's going on like you don't just you know it's not just like you're rhyming bed with head like um and my bars are like for the real lyricists and then the unearth me i mean the fentanyl the fentanyl bar is okay kill all you know i got the real perk 30 that's that's it's a symbolic bar as well but the unearth me stir the land i'm cersei because here's the thing how i wrote that bar was i wrote throw dirt on my name they i wrote unearth me and then i was like I, I i knew like earth me rhymed with cersei like i had i got the rhyme as cersei and then i looked at lannister and i was like how can i fool with the word lannister and then i was like oh my god i stir the land unearth me like it was just like a just a beautiful, beautiful bar. Beauty. I stir the land. I'm Cersei land. Oh, I got another bar too. I've been thinking about, no, I've been peeping you. Trying to see how deep I can sink with you. My timber lake is just in sync with you. My timber lake is just in sync with you. So it's like, 
Nobody ever thought to call pussy a timber lake before, huh? Because, like, lake is wet. Like, pussy and timber is, like, wood. It's like a wood lake. Like, timber lake. So, it's, like, trying to see how deep I can sink with you. My timber lake is Justin sink with you. And then Justin Timberlake in sink, 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 deep lake. Ah! Ah! Bars. More bars. More bars. My timber lake is just in sync with you. I just do it for the mouth. I put this thing up on its throat. I grab the wheel and rock the boat together. Weather the storm out. I see you stalking my story. And I won't tell you I'm sorry. I took your man and I put him all up inside of my body. You know what I don't understand? I need to get a gun, like a taser gun. Cause I got a taser, but you gotta get like close to the motherfucker. Why they don't make like, like the cops have like a taser gun where you can press it and it, you don't like, you ain't gotta like get up on the motherfucker to tase him. You could tase him from far away, you know? wild they made those guns huh fucking electrify motherfucker <laughs> y'all ever been tased before accidentally tase yourself <coughs> i've been peeping at you i've been peeping at you Trying to see how deep I can't sink with you. How deep? My timber lake is just in sync with you. Ooh, I just do it for the mouth. Put this thing up on his throat. Got him in and rock the bone. I got the real perk 30. I know you heard me. My vocals have improved so much in four years. I mean, I'm by no means a singer or a vocalist. And I mean, I don't even like to call myself a rapper. I'm an, a recording artist who writes songs and knows how to rap. Rap is a skill, but I'm not no rapper. You know, like I'm an artist, but I'm not no, I'm really, I'm more of a rapper than I'm a singer. I would like, I don't think, I, I, I can't, like I can, I can justify calling myself a rapper because I study rap. So it took me a while too before I like would even call myself that. Well, well, in the beginning I started calling myself that and then I realized I couldn't rap and I was like, start learning about the culture and I was like, all right, you can't really call yourself this like until you really know what the fuck's going on. So I stopped calling myself a rapper and would just call myself an um, artist. And I just recently called myself a rapper again because I know how to rap now. But I had never studied singing. I took like a couple of vocal lessons before, but like breathing and diaphragm lessons, but I could probably do with some vocal lessons. My mom, when I was little, she like wanted, like she like caught me singing one day and then she wanted to put me in vocal lessons and I got mad at her and I was like, I don't need lessons. <laughs> fucking, fucking ego. Like I got, I was insulted that she thought I needed lessons. <laughs> what a moron. I could have fucking been a, such a good singer by now if I would have just like, not had such an ego. <clears throat> my mom said when I was little, my brain worked so fast that I would, when I was in class, like I would have, and the teacher would ask a question, I would have my hand up for like every answer. And the teacher, like if she wouldn't call on me, I just blurt out the answer anyway. And it was like the teacher would get mad because she wanted to like call on the kids that wasn't paying attention. But I like knew all the answers and like I wouldn't let nobody else answer and I would always just scream at the answer. <laughs> Which is like such a character trait that has come with me into adulthood. I just gotta tell people when they're wrong. And I'm like just starting to learn that did you know that you could just let people be wrong about shit? You know, like when people like accuse me of being on drugs or whatever, like I can just let them be wrong and I don't have to like argue with them, you know? It's like you don't have to educate people on why they're wrong or explain to them why they're wrong. You could just let them be wrong. And I didn't know that before. I would just always argue, but no, I, this is why I'm right. 
and you're wrong, blah, blah, blah. I just do it for the mile, put the sting up on his throat, grab the wheel and rock the boat. Together weather the storm out. I got the real perk 30. Yeah, isn't it weird? No more names available? Like, somebody, you gotta be mentally ill to come into someone's live and sit here and not like them. Like, why don't you go watch somebody you do like? You know, like, that's so weird. Um, but you gotta realize a lot of these little motherfuckers are kids, so they like retarded, you know, like they don't, they're like probably seven. So that they just like insult you, like, you know, they're like on, like on, on a video game, like they just, of course my live is not made for kids, but little kids lie and they'll come and get in here anyway. And then you can tell they're little kids by what they're saying. You know? Like the level of insult coming from a 10 year old, you know? Oh, you know, this would be, this would be, you see what's happening? I come t to have some peace at the lake and somebody comes and starts hammering in front of me. This is, this is what happens. Like my whole fucking, this is my life. This is my life right now. Like, did I tell you? And it's on live every day. So you can witness how there's nothing going on. And the one place that I came, the man pulled up and started hammering in front of me. Okay. I don't know what this magnet is, but it's got to stop. Now I have to move because if not, I want to tase him because of the noise. You know, remember I have a noise problem. <sighs> Thought I was going to be in the shade, but no. Let's see if he starts fucking hammering more. I mean, of all the things, he's just gonna come and start hammering in front of me at the fucking park. I mean. And everywhere else is like, no shade. So annoying. So annoying. Now there's drilling. unbelievable you know it's just an unbelievable thing that you can't even have any peace no matter where the fuck you are in the world and people are always going to come and bother you with their noises and their fucking stupidity and you just you can't have no peace i mean i just want to i understand the unibom so much that motherfucker moved to the woods because he hated everyone and that motherfuckers kept bothering him in the woods so he said you know what i'm just gonna blow some people up and then maybe i'll fucking leave me alone then all right what about this little place this looks like a, this looks good this looks like it's um, a little shady okay now we're on if it happens again you guys are my witness you can see that it's clearly something going on with whatever a magnetic field is coming out of my body and it attracts fucking shit to me. It's the law of unattraction. <laughs> the, fucking, the fucking law of unattraction. <sighs> well, I have a problem with, if you were on my live um, reader, you will see that every time I just like try to get away from people, they somehow come and find me and I will go out of my way to divert them and they'll come and find me and stand right next to me and start like making noises around me. And it's like a continuous theme that keeps happening on my lives or in my life. I mean, this is like the first few times it's happened on the live so y'all can see how it is. I have this thing called misophonia where it's like certain sounds trigger me to have anxiety. So I don't like to be around people's sounds. And especially if it's like a saw or a blower or like a motorcycle or like a, a loud, so like a hammer or like a chainsaw, like all that stuff really triggers my anxiety. So the fact that I go to the lakefront to get away from people and I'm by myself by the water and then somebody comes over and starts hammering right in front of me. It's just like a mirror. It's like a miracle. How does this keep happening to me? Like, you know, like it's just, there's nobody else anywhere. And the one he popped up and started hammering right in front of me. Yesterday, same thing. There was a lady with her fucking stupid kid 
sitting on the bench and I pulled in front of her and I said, I don't want to sit in front of a lady with the kid. So I went all the way down and moved away from her. And then that bitch walked over and sat directly in front of me on the ground. She moved off of the bench and came right. I have it all on tape. And it's just like, that's the thing. It's like, I will, I will divert people and they will come and chase after me and follow me and bother me. And no, if I was a Karen, I would have tried to call the police on him. I just drove the fuck off. I minded my own business and drove the fuck off like you're supposed to do. If somebody's bothering you, you leave. That's what you do. Just like this live. If you don't like it in here, then you leave. You scroll away. That's just like how life works. You know? I'm in a car. What am I going to start screaming at him and tell him to shut the fuck up? I just drove away. I want to live in the woods, away from people. And, like, well, you know, I think what made me really hate people was living in China. Because there was just so many people, and it was so noisy. And all day long, it would be drilling and drilling and drilling and fireworks and chopping and all of these horns honking. And just, it was so noisy. That did something to my brain. And nail any type of even when like my friend is like walking in the house and i hear her walking that gives me anxiety like it's weird like i don't know what it is get out of here motherfucker no the chinese would be like jackhammering Every, all the buildings are made of cement. So, like, when they go to, like, renovate, they got a jackhammer. And it's like, like, all day long. They're always building something. And then it's just loud in general. And there's, like, three billion. It's like there's, like, what is I don't know, two billion people over there. There's, like, 16 million people in Beijing alone. So... Now that there's so many people in here, I guess I'll eat my banana for you. Ah. I just do it for the mouth. Put this thing up on his tongue. I like that song. That song was so sexy. And I'm so happy that I made it good. Because it wasn't good. Like, it was a good concept. And then it had to have the right energy to come along and help me finish it. Because it was like, it had a bunch of mid-verses. Cadence-wise and vocal-wise. I had to restructure that whole song, y'all. And it was like, it took me so long... I had to cut half the chorus off. I had to move the second verse up. Second and third verses up. I got rid of one whole bit. And then I took the first verse and put it at the end. And spit it at a different cadence. And that's just fire now. Woo! It's fire now. That's coming out next week. I wanted to use this person's face on the cover art. And they said I couldn't. So I had to redo the cover art. So that stalled me for a week. I should have just used it anyway. And then let him sue me. And then we could have like... The blogs would have picked it up. Artists sues other artists. I actually really like the cover art. Mm. And I get really offended when morons take things the wrong way.
you know, like even my cover art where I was like eating that, the brains. I mean, it was raw meat, obviously. It was like ground meat that I was using in the photo shoot to make it look like brains. But if I say I'm going to eat your brain, what do y'all think that means? If I'm going to eat your brain, that means I'm smarter than you. You know, like that's not, a, it's, it's a figurative meaning, but it's a literal, it's a literal photo shoot. So I like, I love that for my art. And I hate people that try to take that type of stuff away from artists because of whatever they, artists are supposed to push the boundaries of things. And if you're not pushing the boundaries then you're not a good artist. Well, you're not a great artist, at least. Maybe you are a good artist, but you're not a great artist. Great artists push boundaries. Chris Brown. Smoking crack. What art have you made? Well, why don't you go look on my channel? Uh, Zach Lawton. Go look under my videos. And you can see all the art that I've made. And you know what's weird? Like, I'm so about my art. Like, okay. I will hook up with guys that, like, I know are not right for me. Because I know that they're going to do some fuck shit. And I'm going to be able to get a good song out of it. Now, what kind of... Now, that might be a little bit of a mental illness. You know what I'm saying? What do you think, what do you think that is? Because that's what I've noticed. Like... I know it's wrong, but I'm like, I'm doing it for the art. Weird, right? Hmm. Also, it's weird. I also think like, I don't know. Trying to think about all the guys that I wrote songs about. I'm gonna go count how many of them were like good, positive songs, and how many of them were like diss tracks. Cause like you know, my first my first EP or my first mixtape is called Distracted Lover, right? It's it's on YouTube right now, and it's like half diss tracks and half love songs, and it's like kind of like a bipolar album. Love you, hate you, love you, hate you, love you, hate you, all the way down, right? Um. It has some good production. Um, beats I don't own. Oh, who? So I can't like sell it, but it's a mixtape. So. See, I have like a hundred songs and this year, I mean, I've already, I've already given you like my old mixtape. I've given you Duck Quick in January, which is like a, a, a hard song. Quiet Talk in February, which is like a fun bop. You're getting Mouth next week, which is like a sexy R&B. And in April, you're getting a parody and an original song. So last year I dropped the EP called alchemy and um, that was six tracks all right y'all are witnessing it it's happening again the people are coming the crazies are coming we ought to they ought to time how long it takes for the crazy to find me when i go and move away from them and then they come next to me blaring their music or something I can only imagine these are tests the universe is putting me through to see when I'm going to become a serial killer. I think that's what's happening. And it's starting to frighten me. Because I thought I was going to become a serial killer after I got cancer. It, it would make sense, right? Because I would just be dying in a couple of weeks anyway. So I'd just take a bunch of motherfuckers out with me. Just doing society a favor. But it seems like the universe is trying to edge me push me over that edge a little bit sooner or maybe i'm gonna get cancer soon maybe that's a sign
Yeah? Probably. Maybe I already have cancer. I don't know. I don't like going to the doctor. I'll probably die early though. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm um I'm too talented. Like I'm a super talent. And y'all don't get people like me on the earth for long periods of time. Like you just get a short I'll have a short prolific period, probably like Nipsey hustle. And you know, I'll go out. I'll go out early probably. Like Nirvana. Few few good couple of years, but you know, some hit songs and then boom, done. Should have been nice to me while I was here. Should have been nicer to me. Rap, bruh. Y'all ever heard of G Love and Special Sauce? Uh huh. Me and my band, we all must agree. We like to get groovy. That's who my inspirations were. With the sounds of the old school. We like to jam because man sound from the bandstand. Hand from See, back then I didn't, I couldn't look up the words. I didn't know what that man was saying. So I just, I just got carrying my temperature to the outside. Way back. Way back. When I knew, I'm a child from the 80s from where I departed. And since then I started a collection of the people who started it all. I reckon, therefore, I reckon it's a stock like mine. It's uh, blues music. Blues music. It's all about rocking the band. Not rock to roll, but sway to sway. Chop words in the play. Know what I find, guys, the penis say day. About eight miles to the gallon. That's some highway sailing. That's some cool, cool lounging. Atlanta City bound in 1920 to the 1970s. She rocks a cool. Yo, close to Get ready real cool. 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 It's all about rocking the man. I gotta listen to them. I ain't listening to them in a minute. G Love and Special Sauce. Shout out to him. Garrett Dalton, I believe is that man's name. G Love. Cause the 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 most interesting thing about G Love is when I I grew up on them and you gotta mind you we ain't had no. You would hear people on you would hear people and you didn't know what they looked like. I thought these were black people rapping, and it was like this white band, this white kid band from Philadelphia. And it was like they were doing this like new rap. It was like a band rap. And it was like swaggy and it was like unbelievable. And when I figured it was like this like like young white kid, I like, you know, was like so interested in their story. Philadelphonic. I go, used to go see them every year. They would come to New Orleans at the House of Blues. It's all about rocking the band, not rock to roll, but sway to sway. Shop word on a play. I would love to go. I got to go listen to the, to the actual words now of them songs. Because, you know, like, even like I had Lil Ya, who if y'all don't know who Lil Ya is from UNLV, you know, they got that most famous diss track from Mystical. I'm a dragon from the river, dump his body in Chuck's yard. Well, when I'm Lil, I'm hearing Chuck's yard, but I ain't know they was saying that. I thought it was Chuck Talk. I ain't know what they were saying. That's actually one of the things I like about rap music is when people say something and I don't know what it is and I have to go, like, research the bars, you know? What? He was like, um... He is like so cool. G love and special sauce. Garrett Dutton. Dutton. I believe that's his name. Garrett Dutton. It's all about rocking the band, not rock to roll, but sway to sway. 
Chops word on a play. Not I find cause the you say day. About eight miles to the gallon. That's some highway sailing. That's some cool, cool lounging. Atlanta City bounding. 1920 to the 1970s. She rock a cool. Yo, go to me to get a ready real cool. 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 The earth and star cat, hot hat, dope and dope and dope and everything. My things are face well said. And the rhyme. See, I don't even know what he's saying. But it's like, it just sounds so cool. I, I remembered the cadences. And I, that's how I would sing along. But I have no idea what that man is saying. Oh, yo, Shemet, and get ready real cool. Cool. He's like kind of scatting a little. Boy, that, that type of music changed my life because I never knew, like, I only knew, like, like, hard, like, rock and roll, like, like Nirvana, Pearl Jam, or it was, like, 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 Lil Wayne, you know, like, like, rap. I ain't know they, like, they could have a band that rapped and, like, meet in the middle. So those people were, like, such huge inspirations for me growing up when I was, like, in eighth grade. Um, I remember my friend's, uh, brother like was playing it one day for us like after school and i was like we, you know he was like making us listen to this new rap and stuff and we were like what like what is this and then we like thought it was so cool i took a little break got my cake up beef ain't plant-based so i put my steaks up they try and slay me. They gotta raise stakes up. Vampire teeth. Fangs out if I wake up. No makeups. How I roll. Get your face up. Natural hair. You a troll. Get your lace up. Facts. I don't care. Blow a bowl. That's a blaze up. Your baby mama look real tall from the waist up. Switch. The flow because i know they'll copy it make a whole cry pocket full of sappiness you could really try just know you ain't stopping this climb up the mountain till i am on top of it some bending ends like a floppy disc listen to my esophagus <coughs> hmm where do i want to go now hmm I'll switch flows how they swap pronouns. Kimberly, something you can't pronounce. Take me to your crib and make your parents frown. <laughs> Take me to your crib and make your parents frown. He want to get up in my thought box, looking at me, but you're not high. It's the summer, but you're not high. Pull up in that Hummer, get my number, then I drop, drop, drop that call. Because I don't have no time for a clown. Came here to ball like LeBron with the crown. Water on the walls, watch out, you could drown Charlie Brown. See you go downtown. I just want to see you go downtown. With the ground. Something about, fuck. Oh, I ain't a groom. Oh, ice cream, take a scoop. Ah, Hotel Roosevelt ain't a wedding, but you could play the groom. Something like that. I forgot them little bars. Hotel, this ain't a hotel, but Hotel Roosevelt ain't a bride, but you can play the groom. <laughs> ain't no bride, but you can play the groom. Ice cream. Got a belt, hotel, Roosevelt, ain't no bride, but you can play the groom. Water on the ground. Uh, I got, there's a couple of bars I'm missing there to connect the piece. I don't ever forget my bars. Either. I never forget my bars, cause I'm the goddess of memory. Cause I'm the goddess of memory. Y'all ain't making no motherfucking hits. Y'all bars corny like sugar and grits. Don't tell me what I should have did if you ain't never done this. And I want crabs in my belly dungeness. See, I think it goes better the second way. I want clams in my hands by the hundreds. 
I need crabs in my belly. Dungeness. Zeros in the bank. Yams full of funnyums. Yams full of funnyums. Just any given day, any given day, I'll hop out of bed. Check, hit bank, check the bob of the head. That cheese stank got a glob on my bread. Oh my God. If that motherfucker comes back over here, I swear to God, I was just going to go jump into the lake and drown myself. I thought the hammer guy was coming back over here. He just drove by and I thought he was parking next to me. I think I'm, pa I'm a paranoid schizophrenic. I think that's what's wrong with me. That must be what is. Any given day, I'll hop out of bed. Check, hit, bank, check the bob of the head. That cheese stank, got a glob on my bread. Chew my steak and read blogs on the rag. Any given day, I'll bring you the beef. Lip service from underneath the front seat. If I jump out on my feet, you're going to lose some front teeth. And I'll put them in a bag, then glue them on my wreath. Any given day. I pull up, this bitch don't play. I roll up, that switch your way. Arrive in black, then switch to gray. I'm slain in beasts, it's pandemonium. You can't stain my plate, cause it's chromium. Hoes so fake, zirconium. It's the cubic, ain't the rubic, eat up high, call me hubic. I ain't got no feelings, got too big for these shillings, got too big for this kitchen, got too big for these britches. Drop the pipe with some inches, yeah I'm white, but he flinches. Any given day. I tell him, fall through. Roddy's at my door. That's my hall crew. You want to hit me first? Well, that's all you. He said, I can't beat you. Yeah, it's pretty hard to. Yeah, it's pretty hard to. They ain't ready for the part too. I ain't trying to hear no static. So that is why I'm going to have to disregard you. <laughs> I turn my back on the bar stool. What you said? I said, I put him in the Uber, but I make him ride the carpool. And I don't use no auto-tune. You want me to follow whom? Do the math. I don't need any new friends. Let's stay from the 502 plus 2. I ain't worried about you. I'ma run these jewels. I'ma pick and choose. Cause I'm that bitch and it shows. Oh, drop that bitch next. That's finished. That's the thing. I've been working on songs for nine years. I got so many. Some of them are good. Some of them are actually great. And some of them aren't good. Some of them are actually better than what I thought they were. Not, you know, when I was making them. Some of them just need the right energy to come along now to just fill in the blanks. But I understand now. I understand the path now. I understand that everything I wrote, the people will... Like, be coming into my life now, and I have to find where they fit in my puzzle. They ain't ready for the part two. I ain't trying to hear no static, so that is why I'm going to have to disregard you. I turn my back on a bar stool. <clears throat> I put them in the Uber, but I make them ride the carpool. Y'all remember back when they used to have Uber pool? That shit died over fucking COVID, but it's like, you had like lift line in Uber pool. You could get around for like $5. It was pretty good. I put him in the Uber, but I make him ride the carpool. I put him in the Uber, but I make him ride the carpool. I put him in the Uber, but I make him ride the carpool. That's hard. I don't use no auto tune. You want me to follow whom? Do the math. I don't need any new friends. Let's stay from the 502 plus 2. Cause I ain't worried about you. Cause I'ma run these jewels. And I'ma pick and choose. And I'm that bitch and it shows. I've got so many crazy thongs. If y'all think mouth is crazy, it's like super sexual. Wait till I have my serial killer song. I 
got your girl in the back of my bedroom. Back of the 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 bedroom. She ain't shine so bright when I hit her with that red room. It's a murder. It's a it's a cold case. You look like my type. Have a bite and you'll be dead soon. Red room. Red room. Red room. Poison ivy with the poison ivy with the tongue head shot with the head wound. Poison ivy with the on sight with the head wound. He asked, what's my name? I said, Jack the Ripper. Insane and insane. Insane and deranged. I'm a body bag zipper. You ain't see me. You won't catch me slipping. I got scissors in my kitchen. No child's play. Not Chucky. More like Nikki. But, ah, oh, fuck. I forgot the flow. Like Roman Polanski. My plan, you see, is to hand you a zanny, tie you to a tree, then start dismantling. Whoops, I mean dismembering. I'ma digest your memory, eat your brains with fava beans, and a nice Chianti, just Hannibal and me. Anyway, it's this, like, crazy song I wrote from the perspective of, like, a, a Jack the Ripper. It's like a, it's just, and I'm like, I can I even, like, release this? Like, people are gonna think I'm so crazy. It's like fucking art. I just wanted to see if I could do it. I wanted to see if I could like just write on that topic. Because I'm insane and deranged. I'm a body bag zipper. You won't catch me slipping. I got scissors in my kitchen. No child's play. Not Chucky. Bride of Chucky. No child's play. Not Chucky. Just more like Nikki. Like Roman Polanski. Something like Nikki and Roman. or something there. My plan you see. Polanski. My plan, you see, is to hand you a zanny, tie you to a tree, then start dismembering, dismantling. Whoops, I mean dismembering. I'ma digest your memory. Eat your brain. You know that's a, a silence of the lambs. Eat your brains with fava beans. Eat your brains with fava beans and a nice Chianti. Just Hannibal and me. No other cannibals in deep. You're not your radical whinies. You're not your opponents in deep. Causing our opponents to bleed. Cause you got no bars like a dead phone. Out of service cause I hit you with that red room. Saw it off, I get to the bone, I gnawed off. I slay them hoes in Florida. Keep them in a car in a car to call the carna to come correct my formula. I'm a foreigner. Shoot you in your cornea. Something like that. I don't remember. I like my, oh, that's where I wrote that joke from. I like my, something like I like my bitches. <laughs> Wrapped in plastic bags and thrown in ditches, something. I like my straws, how I like my bitches. Wrapped in plastic bags and thrown in ditches. And then I have a joke. That is where I got my paper straw joke from, that verse. So this is like a crazy serial killer song that I have. Actually, Nave, it's Nave's beat. Nave is like one of my old producers. He's he's a couple producer on like that um Distracted Lover. He's got two or three songs on there. He's got like the most crispy production I've ever had. Um that's his beat. And it's like so weird. And then I have Simmer, which is like a he said he wanna love me, he don't want to be my hubby. Said he wanna love me, he don't want to be my hubby. Now, now, simmer down, don't you catch no feelings now. I don't wear designer duds, I rock academic gowns. Smooth, I can't do what you do. Pardon me in my mood, I want you in my groove. You can't do what I, alcohol, got me feeling freaky. I think I do love you, but I ain't no kiki. You can come and meet me. It's a movie 3D. Writing's on the wall, and it's painted in graffiti. You can feed me grits and eggs, only if they cheesy. On a Greek key, in Thessaloniki. Cause you know I'm dripping sauce, got that tzatziki. Ain't no sleeping on me, just Kodakin on ZZ. Kodakin. 
skin on ZZ. Go back to your ZZZ. Put you and your D in a DD. That's a DDD. Your eyes ain't woke enough for me to see how I can't see CC. That's why when I send in a mail signals, it's a BCC. Whoo, run it back. Run it back. Listen to all them letter bars. Yeah, a DD is a Chinese Uber, by the way. So I said put you and your D in a DD. That's a DDD, bitch. D-I-D-I, -D -I. D -D, Chinese Uber. Your eyes ain't woke enough for me to see, for you, your eyes ain't woke enough for you to see my G, for you to see, see, see my G. That's why when I'm sending a mail, signals, it's a BCC, like email, a mail, signals, BCC, email, blind copy. My, um, my back hurts now from sitting down. I've really got to get home and stretch. Stretch out. And update the song. My goal was to get 10,000 eyes on my cover art today. I don't know where I'm at. Mm, fucking stupid YouTube put a re age restriction on my video today. I was like, I'm in a bikini. Like, why did you do that? It's not my fault. Timu makes fucking small ass bikinis and my titties fall out. Anyway, I'm in a weird mood because I'm on the path that I'm on alone. Nobody can see what the fuck is happening. I try to convince people. I feel like I'm Jesus trying to convince them that I'm like this miracle worker and they do not believe me, you know, but they still want the free wine. You feel me? And I like... Sometimes I have problems with executing because I am like waiting for permission from people or waiting for someone to like see if this is okay. And it's just like, I just got to fucking do what I need to do because the one way to fucking stay in the same situation you're in is to listen to the people around you who ain't, who ain't doing nothing. You know, like obviously I'm doing something right. So... Don't take advice from people that aren't in no positions that you don't want to be in. You know? Like, I only take advice from people that have way more social media followers than me and that have way b better content than me and that really have, you know, like, grasped things ten times further than I could ever be. I'm not going to take advice from someone who's an NPC, like, sitting on the sidelines don't even never studied i studied this shit for nine years so i understand what the fuck's going on now i understand how it works i listen i study gary v i listen to gary v i study kanye kanye is the best with the marketing i mean he knows how to do it and it doesn't cost him a dollar because he just has his fucking wife put her ass out. <laughs> That's it. You know what I'm saying? Titties out, ass out, sells music. Gonna go to Yeezy.com, nah. That ass is gonna get in all the blogs. Because it's an ass. You feel me? He ain't gotta eat, spend one dollar on a sponsored post. Super Bowl ad. Selfie video commercial. Ass out. Wife's ass out. Next, you know what, Kanye, you listening? I think here's an idea. Next, hear me out. Why don't you have her tampon string hanging out? You know? And you can call it, maybe even bedazzle it. Yay, dazzle it, if you will. You know, you can maybe call it Yeezy Flow. Come out with your own line of tampons. That should be the next move. Have her tampon string hanging out just a little bit. And then that's going to go. That picture. That picture's gonna go berserk, okay? 
Follow me for more marketing tips, all right? Like, subscribe, share, because we're going to all go to the top. What they say? The rising tide lifts all boats. Yeah, I'm the right. That's me. I'm the rising tide, bitch. White people. White people should or should not be allowed at the second lines. That's what I was just thinking about. I was thinking of that viral roast I made of that kid who was fucking marching at the Ninth Ward second line. I said, who let the Make-A-Wish kid go to the second line? Because that motherfucker did look like a make I nailed. I fucking nailed. I nailed that shit. That motherfucker looked like a Make-A-Wish kid. That bitch went viral. And then that got me that joke, the book of gentrifications. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, listen up, white people. The black people would like me to deliver a message to you. If you ain't got no rhythm, stand to the left at the second line. You're not allowed to be in the main line. No rhythm to the left. <laughs> and please, for the love of God, use y'all's washcloths. Okay, wash them legs in the shower. So I thought of having a continuous theme, the book of gentrifications, like all of the rules black people should make white people <laughs> do. And I deliver, like I'm the one that like delivers these rules to the white people and letting them know what the rules of the week are. Like whatever, cause like, if you don't hang out with like black people a lot, you don't know what the complaints are or the stereotypes are of white people in their eyes. So it's nice to have a perspective of like what like my people look like or behave like to them. And that's how I can write a lot of good comedy because I have that perspective. I know what makes black people laugh. I know what makes white people laugh. I know what makes Chinese people laugh. And that's just the benefit of like doing comedy all over the world and having to figure out like, okay, if they don't have Taco Bell in this country, I can't use Taco Bell as my punchline. I'm gonna have to change it to McDonald's or something that they know about. And, like, you can't use like references, you know, that they're not gonna understand. Yeah, I just ate that, um, potato chip so I'm trying to get I was trying to get the chips out of my teeth you feel me you feel me that's why I flipped the flow drips to me black coffee percolates my bean eggs get off me I'm too clean I do them dirty. What's my thought on baked potatoes? Stereotypes shouldn't be spread more, but they're good. They're fun to make jokes off of. Oh, sorry. They're fun to make jokes off of. Stereotypes. Like, I didn't know that black people... It's common for them to think that white people don't bathe right. <laughs> you think white people don't use a washcloth, but I figured out that black people are the ones that taught white people how to bathe in this country. So they taught us wrong on purpose as like revenge. And I'm, I support that. Like I, I fully support that. I think that was very smart. But don't like get mad at us. Y'all can, like, make fun of us, but, like, y'all taught us. So, obviously, it was, like, some sort of slave revenge, and y'all taught us wrong on purpose. And I feel you. I would have done the same. They were like, hey, look, when they do it wrong, bathe them fucking kids wrong. Don't use no washcloths on them. Uh-uh. 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 The washcloths of us. Do we, we taking this one thing. Do not use washcloths on the white children when you're bathing them. That's the rule. All the slaves united. 
and then decided that was going to be their revenge. They were going to make sure all them white kids went to school dirty every day. Smart. Very smart. Now that's why we don't use washcloths. He was taught wrong on purpose. Makes sense. I'm glad that I solved that. Zaps Voodoo Heat. Oh my god, they're the best strips in the world. Zaps Voodoo Heat. Oh, they're so good. The past couple of months, I've been hooked on the jalapeno. But these came back as a strong favorite. Again. It's so good. I don't use a wash cloth. Just that. Sometimes I do. But like, don't you wash your hands with soap? So it's like, what's the, what's the difference? Why can't you just wash your body with soap? You wash your hands with soap. You don't use a washcloth on your hands. Feel what I'm saying? And if you really research it, those washcloths hold more bacteria than they do help. So you're actually spreading bacteria on your skin. I mean, if you're, what I was saying with the slave revenge was like a joke. It's part of my, you know, my new, like my new set that I'm building. Because that's what I'm doing. Like, what do y'all think I'm doing right now? Like, I'm running my jokes on y'all. Instead of going to an open mic, I'm using y'all to practice my rhythm, my delivery, how I'm going to say shit, how I'm going to introduce shit. When I think of something good, you notice I'll go right here and I hit the highlight button. Because I want to go back and review that. This, this is how I'm building my new my new uh, comedy routine. <clears throat> oh, Lord. I've been peeping you. What the hell is this? Um, what's your question? Trump for jail? I don't know, but Trump is one funny ass motherfucker though. You cannot say that about him. That motherfucker is hilarious. I love how... First of all, thank God they let him back on Instagram. It was so boring there without him. Now, every day, his campaign strategy is just to post pictures of, like, Joe Biden sleeping. Like, like, it's not like he's saying the stuff that he can do good. He's basically just like, look, I'm awake. Like, just to let y'all know, like, I'm, I'm awake. My eyes are open. Like, this guy's sleeping at the fucking meetings. And I just think, like... It's like so weird how the strategy is not to show what strengths he has, but to just show Biden's weaknesses and be like, well, I'm the better choice than that. And then when you think about the fact that we only have those two morons to choose <coughs> to choose from, <coughs> y'all can watch me die right here on live. <coughs> oh, the serial killer jokes. Is that what it's for? It was just a joke. <coughs> was it the song? Was it the song, Lord? Is it because I made fun of Jesus for not being able to pull two little nails out of his wrists? Huh? Huh? <coughs> Woo! <coughs> what was I saying? I forgot. Before I had a choking attack. Or a piece of chip. <clears throat> flew down my fucking throat. <clears throat> I wish I had a Tylenol right now. Because my brain hurts. I've been peeping you. I've been peeping you. Trying to see how deep I can sink with you. My timber lake is just in sync with you. I just do it for the mouth. Put this thing up on his throat. Grab the wheel and wreck the boat. Well, 
Hopefully, this next year my music blows. I'm gonna keep releasing songs and keep doing rollouts until it blows. And I got a hundred songs and I'm making more every day. And I ain't never stopping. Something's gonna happen. I'll either die first or my music's gonna blow. One of them things will happen. Me how? Misha John Gorenma. You're a comedian. I love you, girl. Your videos always put a smile on my face. Thank you. Mayonnaise instead of butter grilled cheese. Ew! Ew! Now that's wrong. I'm from New Orleans, baby. You know we're going to have butter on my grilled cheese. Who puts mayo on their grilled cheese? That's like, not even a debate. That's like the... Does uh, gumbo go, or does this pineapple go on pizza? Does gumbo, does potato salad go in gumbo debate? And which, no. Potato salad does not go in the gumbo. It tastes very good if you eat potato salad and gumbo together. But don't put the potato salad in the gumbo and then you, you fucking mess up the whole gumbo. That's silly. I would not suggest that. But I would suggest eating gumbo with potato salad on the side and having a bite of each. You might argue it's the same, but it's not because the, the potato salad changes the consistency of the gumbo. And you already got rice in there as a carb. Yesterday we did really good. If I could just get, you know, 100 people in here every day. And we just live stream. And I was wondering, like, could I get monetized if I just stream my whole day? I have to, like, have my phone hooked up to, to the charger, though. I've been peeping you. I've been peeping you. Trying to see how deep I can sink with you. My timber lake is just in sync with you. I just do it for the mouth. Put this thing up on his throat. <clears throat> If you're losing brain cells, then why are you here? <laughs> like, like, obviously you must have lost too many because you, you must be retarded. Because all you got to do is scroll. But you know, what did you do? You wrote a fucking paragraph to talk about how you don't like being here. So obviously you must like it because you could have just scrolled to somebody else and found someone you like. So I guess you did. You, don't, you ain't had that many brain cells to begin with, sir. And I, I'm assuming you're a man. Or kid. You ain't had many brain cells to begin with. So there wasn't many to lose. Obviously. Hello. I am new. Quen Zhang. Ni Shuo Zhong Wei Ma. Shama. Shama. Hi, you're pretty. Thank you. Hi, girl. I got some sick for you, too, if you clean up. Haha. <laughs> Owned. Hello, I'm new. This woman probably rocked baby fat back in 2000. <laughs> um, I definitely rocked FUBU. I had a red leather FUBU jacket, y'all. Can y'all believe that? I had a red leather FUBU jacket. I should have known then that I was going to be a rapper. I should have known then. Jung Warren. Wo Wo Shi Meg Warren. Wo Sa Fra. Oh, my Chinese. My Chinese is not. Wo Jung Wen Bu Ha. Wo the Jung Wen Bu Ha la. I can say, Ba, 
你的鸡巴放进你的屁眼婊子。Where did I get my glasses? Actually, the Chinese rapper I used to work for bought these. I brought her to New York to shoot a、uh, ad campaign for Alexander Wang in like 2018, <clears throat> like or 20, like right before COVID. And she had like bought a bunch of stuff at the store, and the store like, if like you bought, you could like get something. You get like a thousand dollar credit, and she like gave the credit to me, and this is what I picked. And I love them. They become like Susan's signature glasses, and they are real. It's the only thing real that I own, and it's because I did not buy it, of course, <laughs> because I don't believe in.、Um, that's what I loved about China. I could like get all the knockoff shit like so cheap. I want to get them Chinese shoes, them gold ones. Baby, give me a mouth. I think that we should switch spin. Well, I've been online for like 85 minutes. I mean, it's I only got like battery like nine percent left, so I guess I got to go home anyway. I really do got to go home and work on music because it's um I gotta I gotta master those songs and send them. To the distro with the new cover art. Polishing. Now, this is the part that I hate about creating music: the polishing part. I just like creating it. That would be ideal for me if I could just create a song and then give it away, like sell it to someone, and then they could just finish it and polish it. I just create the concept, send it off. You know, that's what I would really like to do in the future. Baby, give me that now, or spits. See, cause I don't know. Spits is hard to say, but it rhymes with drips. It flows with drips. Switch spits, like you know. The that's why I flip the flow. Drips to me. So that's why I switch the spit. I think we should switch spit. I mean, it means the same thing. I spit it two different ways to see which one I like the best. It's one o'clock. What's today? Friday? I don't even know what day it is anymore. I was so in a zone with my art this past fucking month. Throw dirt on my name, they unearth me. I stir the land, I'm Cersei Lannister. Gives my hands stir. Ah! Fuck. That was like a big dip. I did not see stupid ass streets in this goddamn city. Kiss my hands stir. Hold the banister while you. Me. Yeah, my my head kind of hurts from being on live. I gotta go home and take some Tylenol and charge my phone. Finish the music. I've been peeping you, peeping you. I've been peeping you. Tryna see how deep. I can't sink with you. My timber lake is just in sync with you. I just do it for the mile, put the thing up on and stroll. Grab the wheel and rock the boat. <clears throat> Together weather the storm out. I got the real perk thirty. I know you heard me. Throw dirt on my name, they unearth me. I stir the land. I'm Cersei Lannister. Kiss my hand, sir. Hold the banister. Oh, I do. Oh, oh, me. Ah. I just do it for the mouth. I'm just in it for the clout. I'm still winning. Ain't no doubt. Ain't no doubt. Ain't no 
down. I bet he bet you. I bet he bet you. Tryna see how deep I can sink with you. My timber lake is just in sync with you. Cause I just do it for the mouth. I'm gonna just hang up on this throne. Right on with that the bone. What are they doing there with those things? They always about to do some fuckery around this motherfucker. I swear to God. They always doing some fuckery. Alright. I'm gonna get off and see y'all later. Bye.